after advising this president, would you call it a coup? No. What would you call it? I would call it a democratic uh, ed, uh, exhibit of popular will, but not a coup. Why wouldn't you call it a coup since the military clearly uh, was in charge? But, they made the announcement. They said it's over for Morrissey. They effectively put him under house arrest. True, but well, my definition of a coup or what I've learned to know what a coup is, is a small group of military personnel that are overthrowing a legitimate government or a existing government uh, for its own benefit. Uh, what we have here is uh, a very large popular uh, expression of uh, opposition to the president, the military stepping in, responding to that popular resistance, and indicating that it is going to not take charge, not take over the command of the country, but to then move it on to democratic elections. Let me bring Fareed into this conversation. Uh, uh, Fareed, do you understand why Ambassador Walker was an outstanding U.S. diplomat? Because he came up with an explanation why this was not a military coup. Uh, you buy what he says? Well, I think it's the best argument you can make if you're trying to make the case that this is not a coup. And it's fair to say that the fact that the military has not taken power uh, does distinguish it from some other coups. Though, of course, ousting a legitimately democratically elected government, you know, I don't know what one would call that. You know, in other words, maybe we now need a new term. I, I, would, uh, I, I would suggest we look at 1997 Turkey. The uh, military ousted the democratically elected government. It was, it was called in Turkey a soft coup. Uh, but they didn't take power themselves. They, they held new elections. And so perhaps that could be the model. I don't know whether that's enough from the point of view of U.S. law. I mean, ultimately, Congress, in a sense, has that uh, judgment to make. But I bet you, Wolf, that in the, what I guess we should call the other situation room, not yours, but President Obama's, uh, they are discussing precisely this issue because it has uh, implications for U.S. aid. It has implications for military, military to military cooperation. And they are obviously thinking about the crucial issues that regard Egypt's foreign policy. What does it mean with regard to Egypt's treaty with Israel? Remember, Egypt is only one of two Arab countries that has a peace deal with Israel. So they're trying to figure out with all that, with all those stakes in the ground, where do we go? And I, and I do think that uh, national interest will trump legalism. And if they decide that it makes more sense from a national security point of view to maintain some level of continuity, they will try to come up with some creative definition of the word coup. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that they will do that, but we'll wait to hear officially from the White House. Uh, Professor Fuad Ajami is joining us now as well. Uh, he's a real expert on the Middle East, as all of our viewers, viewers know. Fuad, what do you think uh, if the president of the United States should do right now? Well, first, on the definitional question, Wolf, a coup by any other name is a coup. This is a military coup d'etat. The Egyptian military says that coups are not part of its practice. But this is, for all practical purposes, a coup d'etat. And it's a sad day for Egypt, because the choice was between chaos and a coup d'etat. And we had all thought that the era of the coup d'etats in the 50s and the 60s, military communique number one, where the military sacks the civilian system, is over. We are back in the, in the world of the military coup d'etat. And it really isn't an American play. We shouldn't overestimate the choices and the power available to the U.S. in this situation. This is a great schism, a great war in the land of Egypt between secularism on the one hand and Islamism on the other. And for the Democrats, they now find themselves relying on the power of the military to redeem them and to rectify the imbalance between them and the Islam.